Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 507. I am your host, Roman Sanzo, and we got some news for you this week. Wow, it's been a while. It is... It has been a while. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> As you can clearly tell, I'm not feeling too well. <coughs> kind of worse last week. I, I sound bad because voice is not completely healed yet. <coughs> oh, but <coughs> I'll try. God dang it. So let's move on to the first news. <coughs> and first news is you can now buy giant cardboard cutouts of Easy and Zip. So Hasbro might be slacking on getting us some high quality life size. <coughs> plushies for the G5 cast but they do have an option now you can order a life size cardboard cutout instead both easy and zip are available for $50 each find them over here so um This is the first. We didn't have this in G4. Now I'm just thinking, why? It's... Uh, it, you know, if you're a retailer, Toys R Us, something like that, it makes sense why you would want to put this there. Display and whatnot, attract people to go to the section and make them buy stuff. But... For personal use, I don't really get it. I, 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 don't, I don't understand why would you want to get that? Probably... Eh... Oh. Uh, distraction. What city would you want to live in? Ponyville or Maritime Bay? Hmm. Ponyville seems like you get attacked every week by monsters or whatever. Maritime Bay feels safer. Only will. Okay, let's see what it is. I, I'm very curious. Yay, Ponyville! Wow, landslide! Woo! Alright, so back back to the cutout. I don't know. Huh? Alright. I, uh, oh, this reminds me, like, um, why would you want to get this is if you're a convention, like, um, what was the Malaysian one? Oof, um, Friendship Express, yes, my goodness, it's been a while. So, uh, Friendship Express had their own uh, standee and whatnot, and they're pretty cool, um, but those are featuring the Chief. Four ponies plus their own OC, so that's cool. But at least you get a general idea of why you want to do that for convention purposes. But for personal use, I still don't know why. I guess it's cool. Anyway, let's move on. Official size chart for G5 ponies and new lore about their cities. Origin reveal. <clears throat> a press PDF has been released from... My Little Pony, a new generation movie that delves deeper into the lore and characters surrounding the show. It has full, very detailed bios of the main five ponies, along with this nitty gritty chart showing of how tall each of them is com uh, in comparison. Uh, one very neat tidbit is the origins of Zappa Heights and Maritime Bay trying them uh, tying them directly to G4 locations <sighs> I downloaded the PDF and it was long it was really really long so I'm just gonna use what Steph put here and uh, read it because it's um, kind of cut down alright here we go um, 
The challenge became how to maintain some continuation of the past while being set hundreds of years later. And what the hell happened to that hundred of years later? Twilight screwed up. And I'm blaming Twilight because she's the last ruler of Equestria. Anyway, one of the ways uh, Myers and his team achieved this was to keep some of the key attributes of the uh, place fans love from past stories. Uh, let's see. Okay, Maritime Bay has some elements of from Ponyville. You can see some design details like the window shapes that we brought from Ponyville, he explains. Hmm, okay, um, I, I need to double check that because Ponyville has this rustic sense where it's kind of um, cottages and whatnot, and uh, there's not really many modern features like how Manhattan is or even Cantalot. So you you'll have those wooden frames on the wall for I I, I don't know, and then you have uh, wooden um, uh, windows and so on. Uh, you 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 get those kind of. <coughs> <coughs> um, teams and whatnot, and uh, as for store locations, you you get um, <coughs> oh, my. sorry. Uh, as for store locations, you get um, uh, thematic stores. Uh, uh, Sugar Cube Corner. Uh, their theme is all about um, sugar candy. And what you call this cupcakes and whatnot carousel boutique uh the whole shape of it looks like a giant carousel, so hence um carousel boutique and <coughs> <coughs> oh, and then you get stuff like the bowling alley um and the fast food chain store i mean the fast food store and whatnot so uh, though those are Ponyville's uh, kind of MO with how their look comes into when it comes to the store. Uh, their houses are pretty neat and clean. Uh, so yeah, Maritime Bay says it has a bit of those. Well, we'll have to wait and see. Wait, uh, the, the movie we saw felt that way, had some elements like that. But I don't really remember. <laughs> anyway, uh, we thought that over time they moved to the coast but kept some of the designs from city uh, from the city uh, oh okay that explains a bit um, <coughs> 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 Bridalwood is an evolution of the Evergreen Forest from Friendship's Magic especially when it comes to the shape of the trees huh I mean, the Everfree Forest is its own piece because when you take a look, see at the sorry, uh, when you take a look, see at the design and whatnot, like how uh, they wanted to portray the Everfree Forest, uh, it, it was mysterious. It was full of uh, danger, mysteries, and whatnot. But uh, when you take a look, see and compare to to both of them, yeah, uh, you, you don't really have pathways to certain locations. Uh, maybe some paths are clear because uh, ponies keep using them every day, so the ground is um, more used over time. And then uh, you, you have the trees, how they look. I mean, I, I see what they're trying to go for, but at the same time, too. Um, when you take a look, see at uh, Bridalwood, there's a lot of crystals which don't really fit how um, Ponyville, or oh, sorry, uh, how the Everfree Forest is. Also, one of the few things that uh, did carry over or didn't really explain is how uh, the weather system works. Uh, it seems that in G5, the weather system works like how our um, 
weather works like and how our um, uh, weather system works like it's purely random it's chaotic and whatnot um, maybe chaotic is not the right word for it but it feels that way for uh, Equestria back then you have the weather team doing their stuff uh, uh, sending clouds and so on blah 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 but in G5 it doesn't seem that way but uh, we've been hit by certain things like oh uh, if you say a word like um, happy snow day or something like that uh, it starts snowing and so on so certain things don't really I, I won't say carry over but certain things like that kind of raises questions like what happened how how does it happen and so on and I guess G5 is there to kind of answer those questions I, I'll save my thoughts for that one later alright uh, Zephyr Heights comes from Cloudsdale now that the magic has gone they can't live in the clouds anymore so the next place they could go were the mountains above the clouds they still keep the same feeling in the clouds even though they're grown grounded since they can't fly all right so this one is this one is one of those <coughs> things where it gets really confusing when you take a look see or try to figure out what's going on okay we see the movie uh, we kind of know because uh, the way that uh, their magic work is the crystal the, the um, pony crystal thingy whatever they have is just gone uh, it that, that thing is gone and every pony, every pony loses powers and so on <coughs> and that's just really conf really confusing uh, so um, even this, this is one of those things where the phrasing matters because they say that they don't have the power so they can't fly yeah we know a pony in sorry we know a pegasus in Ponyville that can't fly, Skurulu, and she can s still walk on clouds. So hence, the magic that they're explaining here is something different. So anywho, I'm continuing on to what they're trying to say that uh, because that they can't walk on clouds because they lose their powers for that, now they can. Uh, now the compromise is just to live in, live high up, so they still can get that feeling of. Uh, being high flying and whatnot, but uh, still not fall to their doom. So live in tall mountains and whatnot, <coughs> <coughs> which is kind of interesting. And you kind of have to wonder what happened to all of the citizens of Cloudsdale when things happen. Uh, I guess this is where I need to read the comics. <coughs> Boy, I'm dying. So anyway, um, another way to pay homage to the past was to infuse the film with enough Easter eggs that fans would. <coughs> 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 Oh, watch over oh, the film over again. Never ceasing to discover new things that relates to both the current and previous ponies. I think the biggest one were in Sunny's house. Uh, my ears reveal we decided to put a huge amount of Easter eggs in there because we thought of her father, Argyle, as an Indiana Jones kind of guy, an, arche an archaeologist or a professor. He collected things that he had found over the years, so his office is... Ah, cool. And this is... This is one of those cases where it's cool in theory uh, and cool in practice, but if you're a long-time fan or a very critical thinker, you'll start asking, 
Wait, what happened? Isn't it... Isn't... Twilight's reign full of... Media? Um, uh, how to put it? How to put it? Uh, written media, um, recorded media and so on. Because we know that there is film, filmmaking and whatnot. So you have that. Uh, you, you know there's written papers or documentation you, there's if you want to go one step beyond you have a sunset with phones to record stuff so what happened there and um isn't everything recorded this is where g5 is confusing for me because it it introduced a lot of... Now I remember what I wanted to say about G5. G5 introduced one of the few things that I don't really like about shows that has this uh, piggyback thing. Uh, and that is introduce, uh, trying to solve a problem that didn't exist. Or introducing a problem just so that they could fix it. And... It feels G5 is this way because I understand why uh, they wanted to make a really cool story and so on. Yay, awesomeness. But at the same time, too, what was wrong with G4 going forward? We were introduced to the gang uh, doing their own thing. Uh, we introduced to Twilight's uh, Part of J and we see we, we saw that everything was uh what you call this everything was um laid out uh, everybody was friends and so on we got the dragons we got the uh, hippogriffs and so on blah blah blah, 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 blah. uh and then uh, you you get g5 and then you got the dragon baby thingy and then that it that on its own already asked a lot of questions of it's a baby why does it have wings how how old is this baby why why does it when when will it talk uh what kind of magic does it have i mean it it introduced a lot of questions that kind of don't make sense or kind of break the narrative or uh, continuity with what was established in G4 uh, unless there's a change over the hundred years that's going I mean <coughs> <coughs> it, like I mentioned before it just raises a lot of questions so anyway um, cool but really it's just very very um, headache inducing so let's move on uh, Tell Your Tale is heading to Netflix this year Apparently, YouTube exclusion, exclusion, is it exclusion? Exclusion is coming to an, an end for Tell Your Tale. Uh, animation magazine has confirmed that the show will be heading to Netflix. They didn't specify a date, as it is just included in a list of other kids show jumping and making the jump this doesn't uh, this does not mean it's leaving YouTube entirely of course as far as we know we'll <coughs> 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 just have a another option to watch it alright um, here's a follow up what happened to tell you <coughs> 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 it seems that I cannot talk really well. Oh God, what happened to the Taylor Tales? Uh, I had a few people come to me today asking me where the Tell Your Tale episode is, so I figured we uh, we get a post up talking about it. As most of you are aware, last week we didn't get an episode. By the way, this article is. 
the 19th of January. Now this is the 28th. So yeah, you can see the gap. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, uh, the official Instagram for Tell Your Tales update their listing, uh, calling it a bi-weekly series. This lead people to believe that they would get one today. Apparently, that is <coughs> not the case. Uh, we did get a, a new episode this week. Uh, something to do with Valentine's Day. I don't know. Uh, we know that. Uh, we know that there, there, there will be a Netflix release of it this year, according to an article on uh, the other day uh, or the other day. But we don't know how long this particular hiatus will last, since we don't have a TV listing for G Five like we did for G Four. We don't have any easy way to check for upcoming dates. Uh, we do know it's not cancelled at the very least. Hasbro has a massive chunk of episodes already ordered for the show according to earlier postings at various branding license events. They may just be letting people cool down <coughs> for a bit while they get ready to burst us with the next set. It has uh, been pretty long and uninterrupted string of content for the past year and blah 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 blah. Uh, and the rumors that this particular break is for weeks but we can't confirm that I, I don't think that's true. Anyway, um, from what I understand from reading this and from what I've seen is that Hasbro is just putting up uh, tell your tale up onto Netflix just because they wanted to add more places to watch and I've already mentioned this in previous episodes or uh, in the special we had talking about G5 and uh, keeping up with tell your tale is kind of difficult and by that I mean have you check out the official My Little Pony YouTube page. It's <coughs> it's full of content and I don't mean that in a good way. There's bursts of stuff coming out. Uh, just for example, if you have Tell Your Tale, uh, you'll have that. And let's just say there's a song in Tell Your Tale. They put up a music video or music yeah music video for that segment up on their um youtube page and then uh suddenly we'll just go back to g4 content or maybe quest struggles also i mean the 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 amount of content that they're bursting out and the way that just trying to watch everything in a, a uh, I would say episodic uh, in a chronicle way or just by numbers it's just very difficult uh, I've tried watching tell your tales from one to whatever it is via their playlist and I discovered that they dump everything onto the playlist including the songs and the worst part is that the song comes in before the proper episode so I got spoiled by the playlist so it's it's very hard to put the playlist itself is very bad or very poorly designed so um them putting it up on netflix kind of makes sense and since uh, it's another way to gain extra revenue by having people watch it there and since it's in chunks that's kind of cool and I'm thinking that by doing this uh, parents will just have their kids just watch um, ponies there and they'll get revenue since uh, Tell Your Tale is about what 50 minutes max or so on so yeah um, that's that's another way uh, besides YouTube there's Netflix so yeah uh, good good on them last one on the list is 
me try not to die. Oh god. G5 My Little Pony Toolkit for 2022 release. Color Guys BIOS variant and early art. Let's check this for a bit. Oh, that's cool. Ah. That's very cool. Uh, if you guys got no idea what Pantone is, uh, Pantone is the uh, color standard for a company, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, it's, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Pantone is a specific color guide for printing, if I'm not mistaken. So when you see uh, Pantone color 7685C and you see this color and when you print it out, you'll get that color. Um, Linus Tech Tips did a um, did a really how to put this um, in depth discussion or in depth explanation of what the hell Pantone color is. So go watch it there if you um, are interested. So anyway, um, a very interesting pile of images has released, uh, dedicated to make your mark. Oh, this is another story. Uh, a site show style format. It goes over a bunch of things for each of the main five, their personality types to full bios and color guides for their 2D forms along with that it has a bunch of neat flat background assets probably for toy uh, watches, toy something and other things if you want a deep dive uh, you need uh, into your new Pony Heroes, go check it out below. Um, let's see. This this seems cool. Let's see. Uh, okay. Modern friendship and engaging humor creates a world that is equal parts. Huh. This is mostly things that we don't really. Need to know. Yeah, um, there there's some stuff that's cool, like the like the color charts and the characters and so on. So I, I guess you can take uh, ex ex expect uh, <laughs> <coughs> you you can extract ideas out of this one, and then uh, they have locations and stuff so that's kind of cool uh, let's see maritime bay play pattern re uh, play pattern re uh, re uh, reliability creatures adorable versions of recognizable uh, seaside animals the seaside town of maritime bay was home to the earth ponies and magical crystal bright house yay home to earth ponies. Earth ponies were taught from a young age to be afraid of their magical uh, counterparts, the pegasites and unicorns. Oh, well, how many years have... Uh, they believed that magic was scary and since they never had any magics of their own, they wouldn't be able to defend themselves. Luckily, this entire history was Revealed to be a lie when the main five brought the Unity Crystal back together, returning magic and friendship back to Equestria. What happened, Twilight? Now they realize that the other ponies, uh, the other pony kinds, are wonderful friends and mean no harm to any pony. Lots of new ponies from Zephyr Heights and Bridalwood have now moved to town. <laughs> While it's hard to adjust to living around magic, the elf ponies are trying. Cool, cool. Yeah, uh, th this is kind of cool. I'm just gonna read that part because, um, <coughs> uh, yeah, um, I'm just gonna read that part so you guys can check it out on your own. This I am very curious. Sunny Alicorn, <laughs> a new kind of Alicorn. Oh, let me take a drink. Oh. A 
new kind of fella come. So then he begins her adventure in My Little Pony, a new generation movie as an Earth Pony. At the end of the movie, she succeeds in bringing magic back to Equestria, unlocking her own special type of magic. She has become an alicorn. New magic means an all new type of alicorn. It has in the past ponies who were born with, uh, who were born with or earned their alicorn magic remains in their alicorn form. But Sunny, <coughs> but Sunny's magic is unique. Her, in quotations, uh, growing. Uh, unicorn horns and pegasi wings are not always present. She powers up to alicorn form when she's uh, alicorn form when uh, when necessary. The other old trouble is that her powers are so new and confusing that Sunny is still trying to figure out how to use them. This means that her horns and wings sometimes appear in <coughs> appear at in opportune moments, often to hilarious or embarrassing results. Haha! <laughs> Sunny will attempt to master her new form, uh, sorry, newfound powers and gain the ability to activate them when they are needed most, when some pony needs her help. Sunny Alicorn's, uh, Sunny's Alicorn magic embodies her ability to make her mark on Equestria, unlocking her uh, sparkling, uh, sparkling, uh, sparkling, 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 cutie mark magic is the key to her transformation. Sunny's unique power rise, um, rise in her ability to help others and inspire hope. The only other, sorry, the only way to master her power is to align with her sparkle and believe in herself. Sunny can know. <laughs> Sunny can be uh, depicted as an earth pony or an alicorn, but always with her new rainbow highlight hair. Okay, cool, 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 cool. <sighs> So, what I'm reading here is uh, Sunny Alicorn. Wow, <laughs> talk about when <laughs> season three, uh, when. <laughs> Twilight, uh, it was rumored and whatnot, like Twilight has become an alicorn and everybody was um, uh, complaining and whatnot and saying, oh no, they ruined Friendship is Magic, oh no, Twilight is an alicorn, rah, 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 rah. I mean, that was something, I guess. And now we just got one movie, boop, Sunny's an alicorn now. <laughs> But the difference is she not, she's not a full-fledged alicorn. She uh, her, her horns and wings are not permanent. They come and go. Okay. So wait, what? <laughs> <coughs> so uh, <clears throat> I'm just trying to figure out how, why. How, how? What? <coughs> so, what I'm trying to figure out is that how did she get her alicorn powers? And this is not even full fledged alicorn powers, this is just like pseudo fed alicorn. Like, she has. I, mm, this is one of those things where mm, I, I'm, I'm trying to remember, I'm trying to remember because uh, the other only quote-unquote pseudo alicorn was <coughs> that I remember was um, Starlight, no sorry, not Starlight, um, Sunset, Sunset Shimmers uh, when she power up to her they like something, I, I forgot what they call her, uh, when she was all white and whatnot. She had a horn, she had wings, and that was kind of her uh, quote-unquote alicorn mode. But that mode was for that specific moment only. And I, I, I don't really remember, or I, I don't 
thing that uh, that power cross up that uh, carry over because uh, when we see in future episodes and so on uh, we, we, we see her just power up to her pony form and so on so uh, back to Sunny uh, her Alucard powers is fascinating and her trying to figure out how to activate them is it's an interesting quirk. It's an interesting story um, telling process where, or character growth, yeah, character growth, where we journey with her to understand how she maintains her power and so on. Uh, ba basically, she's just learning to become learning to become super saiyan. So yeah, um, that's that's fascinating. That's fascinating. <coughs> so, yeah, uh, if you're interested in checking this out, go ahead, uh, it's in the links below and so on. And that's it for this week, yeah. Um, so let's move on to the next topic, and what the next topic is what I've been doing this week. <coughs> As you can clearly tell, I have not been feeling too well. My voice is gone, or... It's coming back slowly. I I may need to visit the doctor again just to get this cough and um, so true gone, I guess. So handling a solo show is not awesome for me. Um, I, I don't have time to rest or cough. So even if I have to cough, I have to cough in front of you guys. <coughs> <coughs> oh boy, sorry. Oh, uh, where was I? Um. Uh, Ponies, yes. So anyway, um, back on track. Uh, what have I done every week? Um, trying to recover, trying to get well. Um, what have I? Uh, what, what have I been doing other than that? Nothing really. Um, Chinese New Year just passed. Uh, so did New Year's. So yeah. Uh, one of the few reasons why uh, there's not many normal shows or news shows is just because, well. Um, there's not been many news to tell or news to report on. Uh, yeah, uh, there's a few things here and there, but this week we got a few, um, we, and I, I got a lot to work with, from the standees to the, uh, lores and whatnot. Yeah, I mean, this, this week seems to be chock full of G5 news, so yay, that's awesomeness. Hope this carries over next week with other news and so on. I, I, I guess, yeah, there's a few, there's a few. So, um, other than that, there's nothing really much for me to um, talk about um, besides the, what you call this, um, besides me trying to recover and um, just... Um, me looking at movies and whatnot. Don't really have any new movie recommendations to watch. I mean, uh, there's Puss in Boots, there's Avatar. Watch those two. Puss in Boots is fun, <laughs> especially if you love character action games like um, Metal Gear Rising, or um, yeah, Metal Metal Gear Rising with uh, Raiden and whatnot. Uh, when you take a look, see at uh, that movie versus uh, what you call this. When, when you take a look, see at that movie, it's just wild. So anyway, um, I I guess I'll just wrap it up. Um, so anywho, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at dimitrijimil dot com. Uh, you can reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And Stitch Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PrintedLive.com. Links are in the show notes. Uh, also, do subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitch Radio. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, Jacob, Terra probably. Reviewing the Pony episodes, comics, specials, movies, and 
everything in between. Uh, sometimes we like to talk about cartoons, comics, video games, and so on. Uh, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. Uh, with every support, you get a week's of the access to the discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Jacob, Lucky Knight, Master of Black, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. And sorry for the lack of content, man. Like, uh, I, I don't do it on purpose. It's just that you can clearly tell that my voice is just gone. And um, I, I'm trying. I, I'm, I'm really trying. Uh, the recent thing I, I did is with the My Little Pony console game. That was something else. That, that was that was very interesting. So, anywho, I have been... <coughs> oh, I'm dying. Uh, let's see. Um, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll guess catch you next week with another fun episode of the BS show. See ya.